thought I would have a go at recording some unboxing videos. I've often seen unboxing videos and I wonder what it is that people get out of them until I started to look at some of the products that I'm purchasing and actually I think they're very useful. They do give you a very good idea of what it is you're getting. So I'm, I'm going to start by doing a couple of the things that I bought just recently and here's the first one. This is uh, I've needed a new video. Like, I've got two very powerful video lights but they're not quite enough for what I need um, and they're both bright white um, daylight temperature color which I think is 6000 Kelvin but I don't want that sort of light what I want is I want a warmer white so I've had a look around at video lights and I've come across this one okay here we have the Ralino PLV S192 soft light I purchased this on Amazon.co.uk. There will be a link in the comments um, so that you can see the light. Um, it was on a special offer. It's normally $59.99. However, they had it on a lightning deal at $49.99. I've noticed this particular light on lightning deals throughout the year at uh, $49.99. And I've always just missed them. But uh, yesterday I was in luck and I managed to find it exactly when the deal was on. So as it was on my watch list, I thought I'd buy it because it gives me what I'm hoping my other video lights don't. My other video lights are all um, bright white, which are 6000 Kelvin. But I wanted a much softer light. I wanted a more powerful light. But at the same time, I wanted a softer light. Um, and hopefully this will give me that. Let me just turn this light down a bit. Um, the my video lights are nice and I've got I've got them so that I can turn them up and turn them down but I can't control the color temperature I have to do with this very harsh daylight soft white which like I say I think is about 6000 Kelvin so I looked at this light because it's advertised as having 192 um, LEDs CR1 I think they said and you can alter the temperature between 3200 Kelvin and 5000 600 Kelvin, it's just on the box there, look. I don't know if you can see it there, yeah, there's all the details, but it's got a built-in 4000 milliamp battery, so I guess you can order it on battery, uh, the model number and everything else. Right, let's uh, let's have a look, let's open it up. So, what have we got? We hope you're satisfied with our product and share your experience with your friends. Okay, okay. well that's what I'm doing now, right, so let's open it up, right, okay. What have we got? Oh, <coughs> We've got a Rolino lucky card. Oh, oh, am I very lucky? Let's have a look. Dear customer, thank you for your great support to Rolino. To express gratitude to our customers, we now prepare 1,000 free gifts randomly, and you are so lucky to be the winner. Please turn to the next page to turn to choose one of the four gifts. Okay, well, well that, that's all right. That's, uh, as you can see, there's four gifts there. We've got a tripod, um, a little tabletop tripod, which might be useful. We've got an octopus tripod. I call them gorilla tripods, but we've got an octopus tripod. I've looked at these before, and I think they might be something quite useful. <clears throat> a magic arm, which is uh, an adjustable monitor arm, which again is something quite useful. Or a mobile phone fill light. So I might apply for those later and make another video about those or what's happening. So that's my Rolino lucky card. Let's put that aside. What have we got here? Now we've got an instruction sheet. Rolino user manual. Okay. Oh, it's one of these ones that folds open. Um, so what have we got? Well, I can't find it. Oh, there we go. Right. I've got the English instructions. Dear esteemed customer. Honestly, it says that. Dear esteemed customer. Look. See? Dear esteemed customer. Oh, I don't know whether I like being an esteemed customer. I think it's fun being an esteemed customer. Right, where are we? We are truly grateful that you've chosen us as your best product dealer. You're one of our most highly valued customers. It's been a real pleasure serving you. Okay. It, it, it's going on there. They're asking they're asking for a product recommendation. But what they're doing is, is let's have a look at the instructions. See if they're in, in, in easy to understand English. Characteristics, uh, see, product structure is introduced. So I, I'm guessing they've used Google Translate or something like that. They're just showing a picture of the back and the front of the light and telling you what all of the what all of the options are. It's fairly easy to understand. 
And they call it characteristic. Now, I would call that overview, but they call it characteristic. But I guess that's what happens when you when you um when you translate. It just tells you that the products are slim, slim new design, soft LED light with 96 pieces, um, high brightness, two three two eight three five LED lights. It tells you that the brightness can be adjusted between zero and 100 percent. Temperature adjusted between 3,200 Kelvin to 5,600 Kelvin. I said at the, the beginning that my video lights were 6,000 Kelvin. I was wrong. They're actually 5,600 Kelvin, so I'll correct that. Um, you can rotate. It, it's equipped with a rotation of the stent, which what I think they mean is that the stent at the bottom can be rotated. Um, and it's, it's the usual warnings. I just tell you about the uh, about the battery. It, it's got a built-in 29.6 watt hour polymer battery that can provide 1.5 hours continuous lighting. That might be handy if I ever get out and about. Um, and it also comes with a 15 volt 2 amp charger that uh, works off 220 volts, or in my case, 240 volts. Um, it warns you if the product emits smoke or strange odour, please disconnect the power immediately. So just the standard warnings. Gives you some cleaning notes. Tells you how to install it and how to change the angles and how to charge it. And then it tells you the functions and displays and all of the operations that it does and the notes. And it also warns you that it's not waterproof or dustproof. So And the working temperature of the light is zero to 40 degrees. Please do not cover in vents. It's, uh, it's one of these ones that's uh, in... Uh, like I said, it's it's translated from the Chinese, which uh, which I think uh, is rather funny. Anyway, we'll put those instructions aside. Let's have a look at see what we actually get in the box. I can never get these instructions to go back as they have them. Nope. No, I, I, I don't know why. I just never can. So that, 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 that. There we go. We'll put that aside. Right, what have we got here? Um, I would imagine this is what they call the stent, which is just basically the uh, <laughs> the uh, the hot shoe adapter or cold shoe adapter, um, which is adjustable in that direction. And obviously, it's not adjustable in that direction, so it's just twisting in this axis, which I think to adjust the angle might be a bit more difficult i'll have a look at that when we have a look at the next bit so let's just uh, put that aside for now that's that's what they would call the stick this is the mains adapter which is um 100 volts to 240 volts 15 output 15 volts uh two amps okay so that's that we'll be using that in a minute well, we've got in here. Right, okay, we've got the light itself, so let's just pull that out and put that on there. Right, let's just open it up. Um, right, okay. So there's the light. What have we got? What have we got? We've got the light itself, which looks uh, which looks fairly nice. Uh, it's quite large. I'm, I was actually expecting something a bit smaller. This is about three times the size of my existing video light, so it's actually. It's actually quite a large light. And on the back, we've got um, 192 video light, and we've got some controls. Look, there we go. I don't know if you can see that. Brightness, CCT, which I would imagine is color temperature, on off, and input at 15 volts, 2 amps. Now, sometimes these have already had the batteries pre charged, so let's turn it on and have a look. Oh, yes, it has. Look, wow, look at that. Oh, well, that's actually quite bright. Let me just. Uh, let me just uh, work it out how to turn it down. There we go. Oh, brightness. There we go. Zero to... Yeah. Okay, what else have we got in the back? CCT. That's the colour temperature. Oh, yeah, look. I like that. That's exactly what I'm looking for, a light that I can change. My current video lights are this temperature, which is bright white. And I want a much warmer one to match the room temperature. So, yeah, that's... Uh, that I can change. I like that. As you can see, we can run through uh, all the range of the colours. I don't know how much battery it's got. Let's have a look. Oh, there we go. Look, it's obviously not had very much of a charge. You can see on the back there, it's 0.6% battery at 3,800K. And as I change the colour temperature, it tells me the Kelvin there. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to later on, I'm going to actually charge the battery up properly. I'll put it on for a couple of good couple of hours to charge the battery up properly. Let's just remove this. This is obviously a keep clean thing, so we don't want that. Yeah. So yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed with that so far, and at a low temp, a low, that's quite uh, that's quite good. Let's uh, let's illuminate my work area by two, oh look at that, yeah, turning it up, and that looks that that actually does quite nice. Let's just change the color temperature. There we go. Let's put my hand down there for an example. Under the uh, 56k, under the 56 Kelvin. My hand looks very artificial, I think. I think it looks too, it doesn't look natural. So let's uh, let's just change this as we go. There we go. As you can see, I'm changing the color temperature. That's 4,900 Kelvin. It's starting to look a bit more natural, a bit warmer. That's what I want. My flesh to look like it's, uh, it's quite warm. 4,300 Kelvin. Yep. And right down to 3,200 Kelvin. That looks much. That looks much more natural. Now, bear in mind, I'm mixing this with two very bright white lights. Let's just turn off one of my video lights. There we go. Let's turn that off. Right. Okay. Let's turn the other one off. Right. Now I'm lighting. Oh, I've got a third one over here. Let's just turn that off. Right. Let's turn these brightness down. On this right. Now I'm lighting that just with natural room light. And this light. So let's uh, let's turn the brightness on. Now we're on we're on 3,000. No, we're not. We're on 5,600 Kelvin, which is which is the very white light, as you can see. There we go, the very white light. So we're gradually going to change the color temperature while we're looking at my hand. There we go. You can see it gradually changing. I think it looks a lot more natural. And now I'm uh, 3200 Kelvin, which is where I want to be, and then I'm going to increase the light. Bear in mind, it's only this that I'm lighting the scene with, and that's up at 100%, which is actually throwing out quite a nice light. I'm just going to back that color temperature off a bit. That's where I want it 4000 Kelvin. This is exactly what I've been looking for from a video light, and when I mix it with my other lights, I'm expecting it to make. Uh, to make a massive difference but just to let me just turn that off for a second put that down there and put my other lights on there's one light and there's the other light as you can see 5200 kelvin they're very very harsh white lights i have got a third light that i can mix it up with which is uh, over here let's turn that on that's down at that's uh, that's halfway between them, and I've got this one over here. Let's turn this one on. Let's turn this one on. Well, oh, there we go. Does that make any difference? Yeah. Um, this one I can alter the color temperature on. Um, there we go. I can cycle it from right down to warm white, but it's not enough to give it the warm whiteness. But if you look, especially over over here where my keyboard is, it takes the harshness off. So if I have this on warm white, there we go. That's that's 5,600 Kelvin. I think it's very harsh and very artificial. But if I change that to 3,200 Kelvin, there we go. That's a much more natural light. That's that's how I want the light to be. That's why I've got this light, and I'm hoping for good things for this. So that's the Relano PLVS192 video light. Right. What I'm going to do now is that there'll be a link to buy this on Amazon in, in the comments. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to spend a couple of hours charging it up. And then when I make my next one, which I think will be the Gillette Labs heated razor, I'm actually going to do it under this light in its permanent position, um, which is high up on my wall up there, um, using it as a key light, which is exactly what I want this one for. So we'll give that a go. So until the next time.